Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss the last paragraph. Before going into this paragraph, I want to remind you with the ideas we discussed previously. We talked about the um, we talked about the opportunity you can have if you want to visit the space. We said that there is a company can offer you this journey if you afford the amount needed. And we said that the spaceship will be in two parts because there is a, a bigger ship will carry the passenger shuttle into the air. And when it reach 100 kilometer high, it will break off and the passenger shuttle will be uh, separated. And we said that passengers can enjoy the feeling of uh, zero gravity because in the space there is no gravity. Okay. Another possible method of launching people into space is a space catapult. It sounds dangerous, but is an idea that goes back to Sir Isaac Newton in the 18th century. Rockets are expensive and need a huge amount of fuel. So instead of being driven by rockets, a spaceship could be thrown into space. However, humans might not survive the force needed to send them into the stars. Okay, so Sir Isaac Newton in the 18th century, he came up with an idea uh, to send people into the space. What was this idea? This idea was to use space catapult. يعني يستخدم المنجنيق. إيش هو المنجنيق? To, uh, to use the power of the people to send uh, the spaceship into the air or into the space. But it is, sounds dangerous because people or humans might not be able to to uh, survive the force which they need to send the spaceship into the stars. هلا سير ايزاك نوتان طلع بفكرة ثانية انه هو بنستخدم المنجنيق وحكى because rockets which are driven uh, or which drive the spaceship into a space are expensive and need a huge amount of fuel. حكى الصواريخ كثير غالية وبتحتاج كمية وقود كبيرة، لا ما نستخدم شيء ثاني؟ But uh, there are uh, some uh, fears related to this idea because people might not be able to survive the force they need to send the spaceship into the stars. Okay, guys, this is the answer or these are the answers for exercise number four. The definition related to the text, I already defined them in the previous video.